Good morning. It is Saturday, September 10th, 2022, and uh, I'm still in LA. I'm about to uh, head over to the airport uh, to get my flight to Las Vegas today. Um, got about four and a half, five hours sleep last night, which wasn't ideal after only four hours on the plane, but it is what it is. I'll, uh, I'm sure I'll get plenty of time to rest uh, in Vegas, but uh, yeah, heading off at about 12.30 today. Um, and uh, we'll see what we can get up to uh, during the day. So great to have you along. Okay, I've been in Vegas and uh, just touched down, heading over to the baggage claim, get an Uber back to uh, the MGM or Park MGM, I think it's called, and uh, get on with the day. I think I'm uh, going to the right carousel, let's hope so. Um, but yeah, beautiful day, can't wait to get into it. in the Park MGM, I've finally checked in. Uh, probably know a little bit of drama. Oh, not, look, it's not, it's not drama at all, to be honest, but uh, got to the hotel. Um, now, apparently there's this new fandangle thing called, you know, self-check-in. You go in there and you scan the QR code and you do it all yourself and you cut your own keys, whatever it is. So, of course, I go to do that. And those that know me, know me well know, know that I don't mix well with technology. It just doesn't work with me. I don't know why. So, of course, the self-check-in doesn't work. It worked for everyone else, by the way, but not me. So, I go and line up. Um, I wait in line for about sort of 20 to 30 minutes in the check, check-in line. So, which is all good. You know, I'm on holidays. It's all, you know, it's, uh, you've got to be pretty casual and easy going in these situations. So, so I get to the check-in counter and they tell me there's no rooms. Now, you can imagine how that went down. Um, got my reservation, but there's no rooms. They did clarify there's no rooms available at the moment. So that's fine. Um, 
and they said, look, you know, it shouldn't be too long, we'll, we'll text you or email you, whatever it is they do. No problems. So I go and stand over, half an hour goes by, 45 minutes go by, one hour goes by, and I swear I'm seeing people getting keys um, at the, the counter. And what, believe me, I was watching like a hawk. And I swear these people got the keys and they went around the elevators and, I said, and that's enough. Now, it takes me a hell of a lot to get any attitude, I will tell you. Those that know me well will know that I'm pretty easy going at the best of times. Um, but enough is enough. So I go to the counter and they tell me there's still no rooms available. Well, I wasn't taking no for a, an answer this time. And again, I hate giving these guys attitude because they're only doing their job and everything else, but enough was enough. People are going up to the room, so I, I, I had to show a bit of, uh, as you call it over here in America, sass. I had to show a bit of sass, and I'm in the room. I, look, it wasn't a lot. It was just like, hey, you know, there's got to be rooms available. I'm seeing people go up there. I just want a room. So they got me a room, so I'm here now, and uh, all checked in. Look, it's a beautiful hotel, I will say. Um, right next door to the T-Mobile Arena, which is great. So we're gonna head over to the UFC tonight. Apparently there's been a change of the card, I'm not quite sure. Uh, Nate Diaz and the Russian he was gonna fight, it's all been flipped on its head. This has all happened while I've been in the air, so I'm not exactly sure. But right next door to T-Mobile, yeah, and as I said, it's a, it's a beautiful um, hotel. It's all been refurbished only a couple of years ago. No smoking in here, it's beautiful, um, and uh, it, looks, it looks great. So apart from the little hiccup at the start, I'm sure I'll uh, calm down, um, or I am calm down now. I'll have a relax for an hour or so or two. Head over to the UFC and, ha UFC and have a good night and um, plenty more adventures to come. Back in the room, it's um, 
who did after midnight on Saturday the 10th of September. Just got back from the UFC. Um, yeah, it was a good night. Um, look, UFC's not really my thing. Uh, Nate Diaz got the win. I'm a big fan of Nate Diaz. Not the most talented bloke in the world, but Jizzy turns up the fight. Always turns up, turns up and just has a crack. He's tough. He's hard. Durable. He's got pretty good stamina uh, for a pretty big fella. But, um, yeah, he was great tonight. Uh, 38 or 37, 38 years old. I'm not sure how much he's got left in him. He did say afterwards he was looking to maybe go to boxing or something else. So... Um, I think if he goes to boxing, he's going to find out the hard way. Uh, the, the boxing boys can throw hands pretty good. But anyway, good luck to him. A big fan, as I said. He's, uh, he's been good for the sport and uh, good for combat sports in general. So one thing that really surprised me, well, not surprised me, but um, shouldn't surprise me, is that the UFC fans aren't exactly uh, boxing fans. The same as boxing fans. Um, a little... A lot of testosterone at the UFC, I've got to say. It just had a different feel. Um, let's just say a lot of a lot of sleeve tattoos, a lot of chest pumped out. Um, oh, but look, they pay their money. Good luck to them. You know, they can uh, they can do what they want. But yeah, there's a different sort of feel in the air um, at the UFC compared to boxing. Uh, and that's fine. UFC is only a relatively new sport compared to boxing, and it attracts, I think, a whole different. Uh, type of crowd. I think boxing fans respect UFC fighters, um, but not a lot of them are right into it, and I'm, I'm one of them. I really do respect UFC fighters in good nick, and they have a crack, and they've got to know all those different arts, but give me boxing any day, that's all I'll say. But uh, but yeah, it was an eventful day. Uh, obviously, you've seen that I've uh, come from LA to Vegas, had a little mishap with checking earlier, but you know, that, that sometimes happens, and uh, you get on with it. Um, so, um, yeah, it was a good night at the UFC, and I've just been down to, to get a coffee. Uh, one thing that did strike me, actually, I've got to say, is that um, in Vegas, uh, after about 11 o'clock, um, you can get a beer, you can get a pizza, you can get pretty much anything anywhere except coffee. So I had to go to Denny's and drink one of their, um, let's just say, muddy water type of uh, coffees, but it's the best I could do. Um, but, uh, look, it's, it's uh, Love Vegas, you would have seen uh, the earlier videos, it's, uh, it's a special place. And if you haven't been here for a big fight, make sure you get here at some stage because it's, uh, it's huge. So um, so tomorrow's going to be a little bit uh, the same as today. I'll get out and see a little bit what's going on, of course, um, and bring the footage of that. But the really festivities for the boxing for the Canelo Triple G fight doesn't really start till Monday. They've got the grand arrivals, and during the week, uh, they have open uh, workouts and press conferences and a few other bits and pieces. So we'll get as much of that as we can. Tazzy's here on, on Monday, of course. Um, we'll see what we can run into. So um, tomorrow will be a little bit, as I said, the same as today with just the, the, uh, the sights of, uh, of uh, Vegas. So I'll get over to the MGM. They, they normally have a setup over there with, uh, you know, with a fight theme to it. So, And we'll see who's kicking around. So um, until then, um, see ya. And uh, yeah, thanks very much for following the journey.